Hello. Yes, that's right. The guy in the screenshot of the front of the video is a Ugandan gentleman. But before I get to him, let me just uh, let you explain what happened this morning when I was leafleting in Kensington and Fairfield, where I'm standing in the local council elections, May the 2nd. I was leafleting a particularly run-down part of Kensington and Fairfield, probably um, the worst part of the community at the moment. It really is run down. It's bad. It's terrible. I walked down one road and there was a young woman outside the house arguing with two other young guys. The young woman looked in her early 20s, if that. She had a bathrobe on, nightdress or whatever you want to call it, her pyjamas on underneath by the look of it, smoking and was talking to these two guys that looked Middle Easterners, but they may not have been, I don't know. Anyway, they left. And by the time I was putting the leaflets through the letterbox, I'd got to her house where she's still outside having her cigarette. So I passed her the leaflet because I wasn't quite sure who she was. Right, she could have passed her for British shoes. She wasn't dark and all, or whatever. She didn't give anything away, really. Um, anyway, I passed her the leaflet and she so sort of gestured to me that she didn't understand. So I said, you speak English? And she went a little. And then I grasped then, obviously, she, she, she's not British. She's a foreigner that's been dumped in Kensington and Fairfield like many others. I said, where are you from? She said, Romania. Right. Now, she wasn't very dark like the Roma ones, but the two talking to her were, well, I just don't know, but she was Romanian all the same. I said, OK. Um, I struck up a conversation with her then, saying, do you like Liverpool? Do you like Kensington? And again, she was gesturing to me that she didn't understand. So uh, I'm assuming the other two... Um, and that we're having some heated conversation with her were Romanians because she obviously seemed to be able to dialogue with them but they were very dark giving me the impression of they were Romanians they were Romas, Roma gypsies you know anyway uh, I said okay okay yeah thank you and I left uh, I went further down the road and there was two young lads outside a house uh, painting it painting and decorating it and I spoke to them, I said, do you live round here, do you, lads? They went, no, mate, we're just here doing a job. I said, I'm standing in the local elections. I said, it's bad round here, isn't it? And they went, yeah. And the first thing that came out their mouths was Romanians. Further, a, f a few streets further on, I bumped into the Ugandan gentleman. He was out washing his car. Uh, I went over to him and said, hello, sir. I said, you've owned the elections. He said, yeah, I do. And it's broken English. I said, OK, well, I'm standing. I'd like you to consider voting for, for me, you know. So he took me leaflets, had a look, and I explained I was against all the, the rats, the rubbish, the useless councillors, and he was nodding his head. And maybe not surprisingly enough, when he was asked about certain groups in the community, he was of the same opinion, Romanians again, that were lazy, don't work, thieving, robbing. Now, I'm not saying that's all Romanians, and I'm, I don't know whether or not it's the Roma, Gypsy Romanians, or Romanians in general. I don't know, but Romanians were the ones that were getting the blame. Anyway, I spoke to him for a while. I asked him, would he consider a photograph to go on my next leaflets, which he said, he kindly said, yeah, and said he would vote for me. So, my little conversation with the Ugandan gentleman uh, paid off. He's going to vote for me, and we can... We can talk to all ethnic minorities and we can bring them around to our way of thinking, right? Because our way of thinking is the only way, right? We have to stop any more coming in the country and they'll probably agree with you. As long as they're working, right, then they're not up to any mischief and thieving and criminality and whatever and not plotting our downfall, uh, you know, pushing jihad and whatever, then we have to accept that they're here, right? I believe our main objective at the moment is getting the traitors out, right, and into the Thames, right. That's our main objective. We'll sort the other issues out at a later date. In the meantime, we must bring all ethnic minorities, God-fearing, law-abiding, ethnic minorities on board. Those that are willing to come and listen. Because ours is the only sensible voice. It's not one of hatred. Our enemies are the ones that hate. Now, through my social skills, which I've got quite a lot, and I don't have fear, I don't panic when I see ethnic minorities, I talk to them, some I find very interesting, some I like being around, 
Uh, and the Ugandan guy w w w was okay talking to. The Romanian girl was very interesting, listening to her. You know, the other two seemed to be bullying her. I'm not quite sure what was going on. Um, but all the same, if it's her community, her group, her ethnic group that are wrecking Kensington and Fairfield, then it has to be challenged and it has to be stopped. Right? We can win the ethnic minorities over. I know we can. Right? We have to drop all this race-based politics, save the white race, uh, white genocide uh, and all the rest of the nonsense. So stupid, uh, idiotic nonsense Nick Griffin comes out with of late. We've got to get back in there and talk to people. There's no easy way out of this now. We've got a dialogue with everyone because most of them will agree with us, right? Because they don't want any more coming into the country because it's going to fuck their lives up, right? Because the way things are going now, Especially with the jihadi lot. They'll never be our friends. In fact, we don't want you as friends, right? The jihadi lot, they're going to bring it to the boil in this country without a doubt, right? What we don't want is all the other ethnic minorities ganging up with them against us. We want to bring the ethnic minorities, the God-fearing, Lord-abiding ethnic minorities on board with us and we can do it. I speak to these people. Like I said, I have no fear. I'm not frightened of them. I don't fear them because why should I? The human beings... The victims as well, a lot, of, a lot of people here. Especially that Romanian girl. I don't know what was going on there. They've been running a lot of brothels in and around Kensington and Fairfield. Maybe that was one. I don't know. I don't know. But a lot of these people are victims themselves. And we've got to do this right. And we can right. And Joe Owens has got now, you know, a member of the Ugandan community that's going to vote for him. That's the way forward, right? That is the way forward. It's the only way forward. I'm enjoying this now. I've got another leaflet coming out before uh, the 2nd of May, before the, the day of the election. And the Ugandan chap's going to be on it. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement, here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power. Then more power. And finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.